Okay, so this is an introduction for the AutoCAD A3 template, uh, including viewports and layers. So first off, what we're going to do is obviously going to load up AutoCAD, so it's Autodesk. Uh, three options, AutoCAD 2018, Electrical 2018, Mechanical. So we're going to select 2018. Just wait for the load up procedure. Okay, um, and if you enter the menu, just go to start drawing. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our units. So we're just going to type units and then enter, and we're going to change to make sure it's decimal, precision to 0.2, and we're in millimeters. And then the angles, decimals, again, degrees, and precision 1 is fine. And we're just going to click OK. So next thing we're going to go to is limits. So the question down in the, in the corner here is asking is what is our lower limit corner? And on AutoCAD we're going to use 0, 0, 0.0 as our base point. And it's asking to specify the right corner. So this is the top of your page. So if we're going to go for A3 landscape, it's uh, 420, 297. And we should hit enter. So we've specified our, our limits now, so what we're going to need to do is start the creation of our borders. So we're going to go to a rectangle, which is the command of REC, and we're going to hit enter. Now it's asking us to specify our first corner again, so 0, 0, enter, and again, just going to repeat 420, 297, you know that's the page border. So we can see in the corner down here is our page but however we don't want to start zooming and scrolling around using the mouse so what we're going to do is just type zoom enter specify the corner we're going to go to it in extend view so e and it's going to zoom in for us and just need to scroll wheel backwards just to zoom up one so i can see what i'm doing next stage is we're going to now start to build our um, drawing border to bs8888 standard which is 20 mil from the left 10 mil from the top, 10 mil from the right, 10 mil from the bottom. So what we're going to do is going to use the explode tool to change this rectangle into four individual lines. So I'm just going to type explode, enter, select my rectangle, goes blue because obviously we've selected it and press enter. Now we have four individual lines. Okay, so next we're going to go to offset. 10 mil and I'm going to set top, come in, right in and bottom in and you can either do the left side 10 and then 10 and just delete the midline to make the 20 or you can just tell you about to offset again and just type 20 mil and click that left hand side. Okay next we're going to trim Okay, if you click away once, move your mouse down to the bottom corner, click again, it will select all for you. Now what we're going to do is trim away the outer border page, because we don't actually need it, it's not relevant for us. And then we're going to zoom in using the scroll wheel, back out, just so we leave the page corners. And this will become clear later when we go to a viewport. So I'm happy with that. I've got my page limits and my page kind of corners, A3, and I've got my border which is 10 mil top, bottom, right, and 20 mil from the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a title block. So you go to the, your computer, you access the um, shared documents or the W drive, open. AutoCAD open and just scroll down A3 title block. We want a uniform scale, so you can make sure that's ticked. OK. And then what we're going to do is come in and a snap point will come green. If you don't have a snap point, you need to press F3. So if there's no snap point, press F3 and it'll load the snap command back in. OK, next then we're going to start with our text, single line text. So again, if we want to zoom in, click 
click the box you want the text to go in, ask for a height, so 2.5 is the minimum note height on BS8888. We don't want any angle of rotation, so zero, and then block caps number, name, enter twice to cancel the command. And again, you can come up, click single line text again. Again, same procedure, select the bottom, 2.5, zero. They enter twice to cancel. Now, with a few hotkeys, you can also press the space bar to reload the previous command. So again, you just click, enter the 2.5, enter the zero, and then you can approve to APPD. Enter twice. Come across, press the spacebar to reload the command, happy with 2.5, happy with 0, and click scale. Again, reload the command, spacebar, enter, enter. Um, and obviously, because of your um, Southern College, so we have courses for different groups. We have course, and we could have year. Okay, and these boxes are. We have a reference, so if, if we do a, an assembly, you, you put it in the above areas. So we're going to have reference, part number, again, click in all the time, description, panning across, and the last box we're going to have material. And obviously, when we fill out, it'll be like reference number one. Part number, make part number, description, and then the material type. So then we're going to put a title in. So we're going to click on the left side again, enter twice with the 2.5 and 0, enter twice to cancel. Now we don't have a reference point here, it's automatically going to snap down to this point. So if we hover over this, we don't click, just hover, and we get this green line, which means it's sort of in line with that point. Move all the way across. When you get the green crosshead, tick. Again, enter, enter. We can put like projection. And we can do the same again. Okay, click. And then we have our uh, drawing number. Oh, so, sorry, 2.5 first. And we enter that, 0, enter. And we have our drawing number. Okay, I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to do a quick now infill with my name. I'm just going to put your name. Uh, so date, just put cross cross, cross cross, cross cross. It's always good to put this in, so when you um, move everything in a second. So instruct down. And you move everything, everything looks nice and neat and tidy. For some reason I come off of Capson. Course title. Course year, and we just have a document title. So I mean, but it's really easy to make an error. Two point five by zero. Um, again, let's come off caps. Projection. We're going to leave for the second. Again, we're going to hover. Click, and um, we're just going to again go through two point five. Zero. And I'm just going to put double A one as our draw number. Okay, so this is all of the uh, areas that you need now to sort of fill in. So what we're going to do is we're now going to go to a move command, and we're going to select all our text just by clicking. Probably an easy way to do this, but okay. Now it's going to specify base points. We're going to go back to our home base point zero comma zero. 
Now onto second point in reference. Now what I want them to do is to move this from one mil from the left to one mil from the top. So I'm going to comma one comma one and hit enter. And it's just moved it away. Now we've got like stuff like course title and years overlapping. So click, right click, properties, width factor, just change that to 0.75. Same with course title. Okay, bit factor 0.75. So I'm saying the course year, bit factor 0.75. All looks nice and neat and tidy. Now, projection. Again, if we go back to our shared drive, open, okay, we have a projection here. Obviously, it's too big to fit in that box, so we need to go for a scale. Who's a reference point? Bottom left, and they're good. 0.5 half the scale. I'm just going to go for a move. Select, enter, select the middle, and then just sort of bring into your box, like so. So that's how we've made our page border. Um, so the next thing to do would be to set up some layers. Okay, so we need a drawing layer. Okay, we need a construction layer, and we need a centers layer, hidden layer, and lastly some dimension layers. <coughs> so uh, centers we traditionally have as yellow, construction we traditionally have as red. Dims we have or dimensions we have is green, drawing is obviously white, grey is hidden, and template we're going to leave is white. Then we're going to come to our line type. So our centers, we're going to load, we want the centers lines to match BS8888. And hidden, we need to do the same thing. Load in our hidden to match the BS8888 standard. That's my template set up. Now, what we're going to do is save as, I'm going to call it A3 Landscape. Landscape template. 001, so I've got a few. I'm going to save that. Uh, now I'm going to come to my layout one. So this is called a viewport. So this is obviously your page, and then this is the representation view of the model. So we're just going to click on the model, delete that, come up to layout, page setup. I'm going to modify the page, and I'm going to choose A3 420 by 297, one to one scale, and we're in landscape. And I'm going to OK that, and close. Another simple insert, insert more options. I'm going to find my A3 border that I've just made. So I'm going to go to where I saved it, which is on my end drive. A3 landscape template 001 is what I saved it as. Uniform scale on a 1. Happy. Now I'm going to need to line my crosshead with my page boundaries on the actual page. And I'm happy with that. And hopefully the crosshead's all sort of line up, which they do. Now I'm going to enter my viewport, so layout, drop the tab down to poly. And I'm just going to come around, snapping on each corner, coming down to my title block, moving along, filling all that space. In the end, I always come in, press enter, and there's my viewport. Next thing to do. So just hit the delete button. I have to highlight it, click, click, delete. Go back, layout one, job done. And then save this as your new template. And then whenever you do a drawing, draw in the model, like so. Dimension. And then you can find it in your viewport. And double click 
take care.